one Saturday morning. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this. So we have one more movie to review today. Uh, Daddy J. Quick, as you know him, uh, one of the uh, the color commentary crew members here, who's been on our show many, 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 many times. Uh, he decided that he was going to step into the work movie world himself and be a little Jordan Peele himself or actually be the next Danny J. Quick or Tori or Brandon. He could be the next Brandon. <laughs> Inside joke there. Uh, I see him popping on. What's up, Brandon? And uh, he asked us to review his uh, movie. Um, let's see. He actually had a premiere for his movie, which was really cool at his church, which is a cool church, man. Uh, uh, Danny, excuse me the name of the church because uh, it was cool. Like the church has like a, a coffee house inside of it. I was like, ah, that's a tight church and a barbershop as well. So it's like, you know, church oh, making money. Cool. So you don't have to pay tithes there. Now, nah, I, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. <laughs> but um, the name of the movie was Big Little Sister. And if you haven't seen it, it's because this is something that is particular to uh, Danny J. Quick and Fourth Wall Productions. Um, basically, the movie is the story of a uh, uh, a pair of sisters. And <laughs> sorry, laughing at Danny's uh, comment there. Uh, it's the story of a pair of sisters, one of which gets her hands on Big girl shampoo. <laughs> Beyond Measure Ministries. Thank you, Danny. Anyway, uh, one of the sisters, the younger sister, gets her hands on a uh, big girl uh, shampoo, goes to sleep. We've seen it before. You wake up, you somebody else can be completely different. So she wakes up, and now she is um, bigger than the bigger sister, although she's still short. But, but now she's big enough, and she can drive. She wakes up. The, the shampoo even gives the girl a tattoo. Now that's now that's some powerful <laughs> shampoo right there. The big girl tattoo give you I mean shampoo shampoo to give you tattoos. <laughs> but um I definitely enjoyed it. Um I hope you guys get the chance to uh to check it out. Um it was a lot of fun. It's a very interesting little family uh type of thing here. Um for me, I was really I don't want to play favorites here. I'm trying to do the best I can here. Um I think I was really interested in the character that probably got the least amount of screen time, at least initially, which was uh, uh, Stephanie uh, Quick. She is the, she is the, actually the, the the little daughter, the younger daughter initially. Uh, so it's Kendra is the oldest, and then and then Stephanie, and actually the mom Tiana plays the replaced little sister, so she had to play her little daughter. But um, I really saw Stephanie really get into into the role. Like I really saw her really put her emotions like really into it um like become that little sister that she already is i mean she's already the little sister <laughs> you know so, but i could i could really see those emotions uh in her um i like the fact that they you know where they were you kind of gave you a life uh, a day in the life of the two sisters you know driving around um i really enjoyed it seemed like uh the older sister kendra like she really knew her lines like really really well like seemed like she probably spent a lot of time you know trying to get that done so i appreciate that and uh the mom as well uh tiana who is who plays the the bigger version of the little sister it was just you know it's a lot of fun for the family um let me see here if i had any improvements for it i, I think i would just like to see really the characters really get m even more into um their characters you know what i mean like really don't be yourself you know say it's, it's funny to say don't be yourself because they're actually playing themselves but really think about what you would do in this situation like if your parents were talking to you how would you react you know how would you look at your parents when they're talking to you about them leaving or you know don't go in this particular place you know i just want to see um more of that really get into that role you know show us that all the different emotions in your face um how would you react? How would you react if there was somebody, a stranger in your bedroom? <laughs> you know, like really show us that, you know, if there's a stranger in my bedroom, I mean, it kind of depends on what they look like. But if it was a dude, <laughs> you got problems. You know what I mean? We got big problems. So it's the same type of thing. Like if you got a stranger in your bedroom, like let's see that. Like I, I, I enjoyed what I saw, but I want to see more of it. I want to see more emotion um you know let us have it with that 
Um, as far as the story is concerned, I think I would have liked to also have seen more of the buildup of what got them to this point. So what happens is um, the parents are talking to the older daughter and they tell the older daughter, okay, you're gonna have to watch over things while we're gone, okay? And then when you got into the, um, when you then she immediately goes to see the younger sister. And then right after that, the younger sister takes a shower, like right then. So you don't really get a chance to see the the older sister kind of maybe scolding the um the younger sister or why is it so bad to be the younger sister? I think that's the thing that we probably wanted to see more, you know, because if she becomes the the older sister, if she becomes the big little sister now, well, was it so bad to be the little little sister? It didn't seem to be that bad other than the fact that she's in charge, but she didn't really um it's not like the older sister took advantage of that situation. So I would have liked to have seen more of that. Like, okay, let's see the the big little sister really take advantage of, you know, her. You know, the big little the big sister is a little taller, you know. I, I'm not sure how tall she is, but there's a there's a pretty big difference in height. You know, so she could have manhandled manhandled her a little bit, you know, you know, get out of my face, you know. So maybe a little bit of revenge or something like that. Like, oh, I'm the big sister now, you know, and to see that part, I would definitely want to see more of that type of stuff. Um, um, so Q, you only saw just a couple minutes of it, maybe six minutes of it. I know you were kind of thrown off because I'm having you to get on your phone instead of the computer and all kinds of things. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, yeah, I um, can't wait to finish watching it though. I can't wait to finish watching it. I, 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 yeah, I think I got about six minutes or so in. And what I, from you know, and I got the main premise of uh, you know, I'm saying uh, 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 of of the sister becoming a uh, 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 big, you know. What I was really highly impressed with is the just the filmmaking, because I was looking at that hallway and they never showed the camera, you know, like how you know, what I'm saying this is like some really good editing here, you know, like because there's mirrors here, like I know how hard it is trying to hide mirrors when you're doing, you know, what I'm saying filmmaking. You know what I'm saying yourself and things like that, and they were and they were in a mirror a lot, and they were choosing some really impressive uh, uh, shots there, and the, and the editing was good. And then like I think in, when they were in the car in the bathroom and the music was going, they were talking to each other. I started to feel the chemistry and the vibe of uh, you know what I'm saying where this story was trying to go. So I was highly impressed with with the filmmaking they was making there. That's really cool. Um, and, and and I can't wait to uh, finish watching the rest so I can get you know like the, the full premise. I thought the acting. You know what I'm saying? Between the girls were, were 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 pretty you know, were pretty good and you know, the camaraderie uh, I, I like to see that. But you know, to get the full thing I wanna see the rest of the filmmaking, but I was highly impressed with the little I was I was watching. I thought that was really cool. Okay. All right, cool, cool. And you reminded me of something while while I'm talking here of the, the small little details. So there were a couple of small details that I would think you just need to want make sure you watch out for. Uh, one of the the things that caught my eye was the um the directions for the fire escape <laughs> that was that was on the wall because <laughs> i'm like you know i was for initially i was like oh did they do this in the house oh, okay that's cool and then I, I looked at the um the fire escape thing i was like oh no this is this is the hotel room <laughs> so you might want to oh i didn't see that <laughs> take that down or cover it up with something because it was it was definite like every time i saw it it kind of took me out of the movie a little bit because i realized you know the location okay yeah we're in a hotel right now um same thing kind of like with the um with the moms the mom who was playing the, the daughter you know with her with her tattoo because there was no explanation as to how the tattoo got there it's it's a little distracting like how did you just you use shampoo and, and now you have a tattoo like you know explain oh you know i can i it would have been even better if she had said mentioned like look i've had a tattoo as well you know but just the kind of the tattoo is there and we're gonna have to pretend like we don't see it, <laughs> you know. So maybe there should have been a thing where they filmed maybe from only from the left side, in order to uh, to make sure that that gets hidden. Or if there's some type of, um, I think you could probably put concealer on it as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can because I know dancers that um, like for black couch bands they have tattoos and they they cover them up. So just little small details like that. Same thing um, with the comic books. Like there's a time when the girls are are reading through comic books you'll see that later and it just kind of like 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 you open a comic book and like flip to page 16 and that's like it doesn't look like you read that's not how you read a comic book <laughs> you know I'm, and i'm mad at danny a little bit i'm mad at you danny 
as a person that writes comic books to not instruct her as to how, you know, you know, you hold a comic book, you start from the top, you know what I mean? And, you know, maybe you, um, you know, you flip through and you look at some pages, you know, you're looking at the pictures and things like that, but there definitely is a certain way that comic books are, are handled. So it didn't really look like they were, the mom did, but the daughter didn't look like she was looking at the comic book. It's a small thing. It's kind of like, I don't know if you've seen uh, Black Lightning, uh, Q. Yeah, yeah, I watched a couple episodes yeah. of that. You know, it's like, it's one of my favorite uh, shows on the CW, but there's a point where the older daughter meets this other girl, right? She's in the library. And like the little, the girl that she meets, it's like, has a comic book and she like folds it up and puts it in her back pocket. And I'm like, what the entire hell? <laughs> like no one would ever, never. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fold a comic book up and put it in your back pocket. Yes. Now you're back in the day day? No, no, we had the mugs in the um in that plastic son with that that tape on the top. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. um but I'm I'm excited to see a, a another young um director. Uh, and like I said, you know, I really want to see more of us really supporting more of us. That's the only way that any of us right. are, are going to make it out there. You know, we need the support of other people, you know, so I'm excited. I was excited to, to go there and uh, watch the premiere. I was excited about the, uh, the the size of the crowd that they have there. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to bigger, better things. Everything is a learning experience, you know. So, you know, you've heard the comments that we've said, you know, so really push those things even more and uh looking forward to the next one anything else sir uh yeah i was just like i said i was highly impressed by you know uh, i don't know how old um the, the, these filmmakers are you know i i just you know seeing from the first glance i'm just yeah you know, impressed by the filmmaker and i subscribe to the channel and i'm probably gonna you know i'm sharing on my social media you know so so because it's just cool i just made a a short film about like last year. I made a friend uh, film for my friend. You might have seen it on my channel, but okay. you know, uh, filmmaking is a blast. You know, I you know I love doing it. You know, that's what I wanted to do. Um, you know, coming up, you know, uh, to make films and things like that. I've been in some films. You know, uh, some big films, uh, Batman vs Superman, uh, a couple other films with you know Clint Eastwood and things like that. So I love being on set. I love the process of making movies. I used to do special effects. That's what, don't be scared of all this horror stuff back here because I used to do actual special effects with sculpting and things like that. But I end up working in the CG world, like on Game of Thrones and some Marvel movies you might have seen. And, um, you know, ne never give up that dream. Keep making that film no matter what. Because, you know, like people always say, hey, well, what what I got to do to make a movie? Gotta, what I got to do to make a movie? What class do I got to take? Just pick up a camera and start making stuff. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you guys are doing. And, and you guys are doing a great job. I was laughing, you know. And um, I, I can't wait to finish watching it. And um, you guys are doing great. So, I, you know, I, I can't wait to see some more. All right. Good stuff, man. Well, last thing, uh, also, DJ did a very good job. I like his very uh, um, sly smile that he had on his face as he was about to put on some big uh, some uh, some big boy uh, shampoo. And it was funny because I, I talked to Danny's um, younger brother after it was over, Davis. And he's like, yeah, yeah, if we do a sequel, I, I might play DJ. I'm like, OK, that's good. I'm glad to hear that because Davis has hair. See, Danny doesn't have hair. So I was... <laughs> If that boy puts his shampoo on his head, I'm like, no! <laughs> All right, guys. If you like what we did, make sure to give us a like. Uh, leave a comment here. Make sure to check out Danny J. Quick on uh, 4 4 Productions, all their comic books and everything. Thank you again to uh, Q with Q Reviews. Closing thoughts, sir. Anything else you want to say about your channel? Anything that, that you got going on? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have some uh, upcoming reviews for uh, yeah, yeah, Godzilla, Mon, things like this, and maybe some other uh, crazy reviews coming this week. Thank you so much for just having me on the uh, uh, channel here, man. It was really an honor just to sit here and you know what I'm saying talk movies. I had I had a I had a blast. Your, your um, costumes are hilarious and your antics are hilarious. <laughs> I'm up that same alley. If you know, you check me out. You see that Aladdin? You see me getting jiggy with it. So, <laughs> had the moves. That's like yeah, 1997 moves, son. But yeah, yeah I had a blast today, man. I hope to uh, do more collabs on movies, spoilers. You know, whenever you have me. So thank you very much. Let's do it, man. 
All right. So uh, as usual, you got to you know how to do this by now, man. You know how to do this by now. You got to yeah. subscribe, subscribe to subscribe. To subscribe. <laughs> yeah. This color commentary will be give you views from a big boy shampoo side. I'm talking like real big boy. Like it's five o'clock somewhere. One Saturday morning.